God, I wish. With that, the two of us depart the, cl the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Hold on. There we go. Ha! Ah, contemplating over these four girls. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Which one will I choose? I don't know. I'll just need to make most of the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Uh, and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Fucking kill me. Hold on. Oh, I have to write this? Oh, shit! Alright, hold on. Alright. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something might good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Wait. Why is Monica not here? What the fuck? Alright, so you can't... Hold on. Look at that shit! We got Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri. What the actual fuck? This is bullshit. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna save right here in case I fuck up. Okay. Electricity rose. Alright. Whisper. Um. Swims. Can I go back? I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. I've already fucked up. Load it. Load it. Load it. Load it! Uh, oh, fuck. Um. All right. Suicide! That's the kind of poem for me! Um. Fuck. I don't. Yeah, we're going suicide. Uh. Adventure. Oh, fucking Sayori you like that shit? They bounce. Uh, nightgown. God damn it! Uh, mm, clumsy son of a bitch. Mm, pow! Why are you the miserable one? We're starting again. I I I I need fucking Yuri on some of this lust. Hey Yuri, you like that lust? <laughs> hmm. Doki Doki. Uh. Heartbeat. Okay. Secretive. A. A. Uh. Sticky. <laughs> uh. Special. Fuck you, Sayori. Uncontrollable, yeah. Whirlwind, yeah. Anger, yeah. Unrequited. Fuck you, Sayori. Your your love will never be. It'll always be unrequited. Universe. Unrestrained. Adventure. Fucking. Pleasure. <laughs> Giggle. Passion. Damn it! Destiny. A. Eternity. Dazzle. Shit! I wanted Natsuki. Fuck Sayori. I want these two. You go away. These two. Cute. Thank you. Alright. I gotta get one for fucking... Hi again, Uwu Kagu! How'd I fuck up? Jeez, I guess I fucked up. Oh well. 
Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Jesus. Nah, don't, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Uwu Kagu. I think you'll really like my poem, Yuri. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. So apparently I can't go for Monica, at least the poem. So, guess it's these two. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join the club, th cl any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Um... Yeah, who would ever, who would ever fucking do that? But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <gasps> Natsuki, hey. <coughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plots back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Uwu Kagu always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. This is very accurate of me. True. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, taking off my clothes, just, you know, bedroom stuff. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? Almost. Not close enough. You two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Ukagu can become good friends too? Maybe I want more than that. Did you ever think about that, Sayori? Don't bitch. S Sayori. Mm -hmm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she was just put in. Oh, oh, Yuri, you even brought, I even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori, what fuck? Uh, me? What? Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? It's a book. It's a fucking book. Oh, look at her. She's all shy and shit. She's all shy and shit. Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. I got this. Hey! Don't worry about it, big head. I mean, fuck! I fucked it! I fucked it! Don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? I brought you Fifty Shades of Grey. And I also brought you this limited edition copy of Boss Baby on DVD, not even fucking Blu-ray. Fuck you, Howard. I'm kidding. Fuck you, Howard. I trusted you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, here. Yuri he reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Wow, look at that. Look at that, I was right. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. That is, if you wanted. This is... How's this girl accidentally being so cute? She's bae, I'm telling you! She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much? Yuri, thank you. I'll not be reading this, but thank you. I enthusi enthusiastically take the book. I'm a voice actor. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Not that now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting him from reading. 
I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Um... You're weirding me the fuck out. Crap. And then she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks around another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. That's it. Yep, that's that's it. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh! It's fine. I, if I was focused then, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri hasn't told me, but I decided to let it go. She bought two books! So you can be reading along to get- Fuck this guy! Fuck Uwu Kagu! I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, um... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. Scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. What is this, Illuminati? I don't know. All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with a long lost young sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Bitch, what the fuck are you reading? And while her, while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship and her life starts to fall apart. That's... Kind of... Dark! Yeah! Dark, isn't it? Kagi should just ignore the chat at this point. Oh. Um... Okay. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> hey, I'm, a, I'm still down. I, 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 I skimmed through Five Nights at Freddy's Silver Eyes. I'm all about this horror shit. Let's go. <clears throat> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? Ooh, hoo Kagu. No, it's not that! I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so I don't... So don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things just happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be a naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. It's... It's fine. It's fine. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts... That was weird. Uh, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I'm starting to talk too much. That's... I don't really... I don't really don't... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. And that's the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Like, fuck, what else am I here for? <laughs> Fucking reading? Who the fuck does that? Uh... Oh, right. Sorry, Yuri. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to... What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, let me just get the book. 
I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Oh, that's a little too comfy, my guy. Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's, it's just something I'm not very used to. Oh! Hey, PKK Ratchet with the sub. I'm trying to adjust the number. The numbers. What do they mean? We're at 142. If we get to 150, I will be playing the entire Danganronpa series. It's gonna be a good one. I see. Well, just tell me if I. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting. Uh, oh God. But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry! I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? R reminds me of Hayden. Gee, I wonder why I'm going for this girl now. <laughs> I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. Are you Canadian, Yuri? It's, it's fine. It's not racist. It's like girlfriend is Canadian. It's not right. I mean, <laughs> you're such a weirdo. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. 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 It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ooh, we got... We got CGs, boys! Aw, oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Huh. I do the same thing with my right arm, on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But, in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? For oh, she's looking at me! She's looking at me! Toasty, help! Hey! Gab with the sub! Thanks, girl! 143. Uh, to turn the page. Uh, sorry! <laughs> I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Hey! Everyone's subbing today! Thanks for all the sub, guys. We're at 144. Thank you, Zumoku SSJ SSGSS. <laughs> Damn. If you sub to spoil, so I guess people... So I guess some people were spoiling in the chat, and now if some people are subbing to spoil, that'd be wild. So I guess Simba has it in sub mode only in the in the chat. That's crazy. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Look at her smile. She's so innocent. It's probably the least that I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah! That's it, thanks! You continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. 
an intimate exchange now. <laughs> My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see it into your I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Uwukagu, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. <laughs> uh that's so embarrassing that you think that wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant more that I guess I meant uh, I more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah, uh, fart! Ah, uh, flirting! Ah! Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Oh, I okay, everyone! Fucking fucking teeth! What a cock block, Monica! Now I know why you're not a love interest, or maybe you are. I don't fucking know. I think it's about time we share today's.